would like to give you some, some insight <laughs> of where we started and how do we started with this program at the beginning. Uh, three years ago, it was clear to, to the Alfa Romeo brand that this car was supposed to be something completely different because we wanted to give with this car a complete turnaround of the brand. So to do that, some very technical experts, together with some technical experts from Ferrari, they jointly started in Modena to develop this new program from the scratch, from the blank sheet with a clear intent. This car has to be a revolutionary car inside the market. What they did, basically, they started inspired what, from what are the historical values of the Alfa Romeo. For sure, at least the front to back engine, there are unique contents, unique technology. The engines, for example, are, as Richard said before, completely new, done in aluminum. Of course, there is the Italian design, it's important for an Alfa Romeo brand. But on top of that, from a, from a technical perspective, engineering perspective, what is more important for us is the driver. So we want that the Alfa Romeo Giulia is not just a car that is driven, it drives you. We want you to be in charge every single second. You are in this vehicle, and you engage the gear, and you start. Be in charge of the car. To do that from the beginning, we have basically used a systematic approach to put the driver at the center of the design. And this has been one of the most important, for example, new mentality that the Ferrari team, the Ferrari people, put inside the Alfa Romeo engineering team when they came. To do that, what has been done from the beginning in the virtual phase, before to go into the production phase, a driving simulator has been used as primary tool. This driving simulator has been uh, uh, used to link between the subjective feelings of the driver. Real driver have experienced and tested some vehicles. These feelings has been put inside the driving simulator, correlating with the objective data, technical data of the vehicle, like for example, torsion stiffness, setup of the damping of, of, the, of, the, of the dampers. All of that put inside the simulator, they started to, to test it and found the best balance between comfort and handling and performance and subjective feelings that they have. So the technical target has been set up, and starting from there, they started a new development with the with the with the aim to build a, the best in class driving experience. To do that, a completely new architecture has been designed. Richard has mentioned that we have branded a new uh, body white with the state of art materials to reduce the weight. And the weight has been one of the technical target that is one of the most important also to reach the performance that we want to, to reach. And more than the weight is the 50-50 weight balance between the front axle and the rear axle that both vehicles has nearly achieved. This has been a mainstream of the, of the technical development of this, of this car from the beginning. And we had used extended parts in carbon fiber. For example, on the QB, on the Fabifolio, we have the carbon fiber of the, of the hood, the carbon fiber of the roof, we have the carbon fiber of the drive shaft. This is common across all the all the lineup. So both the QB and also the base and TI version have the carbon fiber in the uh, drive shaft. The QB does have carbon ceramic frames like the, like the carbon fiber from seat frames. Why, for example, the carbon fiber hood? And I will uh, um, tell you to open the hood to see how it is done. It's not by by case. It's not by chance. It's because the additional weight of the V6 against the, the, uh, the four cylinder has been counterbalanced using a carbon fiber inside the, inside the food. So this is done for, with a specific scope to keep always under control the weight of the car, keeping the balance 50-50 between front and rear. Same on the on the on the other vehicle, on both versions, we uh, we have as said before aluminum en engines. We have aluminum doors in both versions, aluminum suspension, front and rear, completely new, and also aluminum brake calipers. All of that has been also awarded a few days ago. Uh, the Nalfa Giulia has won the Eurocar body that is one of the award, the most important award given for the, um, for the body design. And we have uh, battled in uh, won the battle against Bentley and for margin and standard over so some important competitors in the into the complete automotive market. But to reach the driving 
experience that we wanted to reach, of course, as I said before, we have also focused on the, on the, on the, on the chassis component, so on. Front suspension and rear suspension are completely new. The, the rear suspension has been also patented because it is a, a lightweight four and a half link system. And we will have technical experts later available for any question you will have on this or any other components of the vehicle. If we, uh, going forward, uh, the steering wheel is also important. The steering performance is really important and crucial. I'm pretty sure you will really appreciate which will, will be the steering responsiveness of the Alpha, the Alpha Julia. Of course, we have been inspired again from uh, the Formula Uno with the push button start on the steering wheel. We have a, a steering coil mounted with our dummy aluminum and the paddle shifter. And also, we have a gear shift done in less than 100 milliseconds. We found it very, very fast when we use which is the gear from one to another. Of course, have the, we have eight speeds that have automatic, but behind that, behind the steering responsiveness, there is the, the most direct uh, steering ratio that we have into the segments 11.8 to 1. Nothing, no other cars that has a single ratio like this one, you will perceive it. Look into the data. At the end, all this data, all these uh, technology, te uh, technical inputs and, and data has given us the possibility to be 25% faster than any competitors in our segment in terms of uh, the activity achieved by the Alpha Julia. Let's speak about, about Alpha DNA. Uh, Richard has mentioned it before. We have three different settings, dynamic, natural, advanced efficiency mode for both versions, and then the QV does have also the race mode. When you will switch from one to another, you will change the setting, especially uh, of, the, of the throttle, the tipping, the transmission, and the engine calibration. When you go to race mode, the ESC, the stability control, will be disengaged. There will be a, a dual mode exhaust system activated. You can really perceive it. Let's speak of something that is unique for us and that Alfa Romeo has uh, adopted from the beginning. It's the chassis domain control. So for the first time in our lineup, we have a new uh, control that is the chassis domain that is installed inside the vehicle. It's the brain of the Julia. What does it mean? Like the brain of, of, of the man, it does control all the active system inside the vehicle, including also the damping suspension where available. There is an active shaft uh, uh, split shaft on the front of the QV, and also we have the torque vectoring where available is controlled by the chassis domain. So this, this, this control unit does receive all the input from the road, from the, from the driver, and uh, interacts in parallel, contemporarily, with all these units inside the vehicle in order to give the best driving performance and, uh, to the, and responsiveness to the car in the, at the same time. Torque vectoring, I mentioned it. The QV version, this version does have basically a torque vectoring in, on, into the rear. It's very important for us because that's had two different clutches on both sides. And this will allow us to give a possibility to control the torque from 0% to 100% on each side of the wheel independently. And together with that, we have also said before an active aerofoam splitter into the front that will give us the possibility to reach 0 0.32 as a, a, a CD and uh, download of around 20 pounds the, the force of the vehicles when it's required. It's also controlled this one by the chassis control unit as said before. Is that uh, operating with the uh, servo? Is that the there are two actuators the on the side. Huh? Two there actuators, yes. Last, there is the, in terms of braking, for the first time, it's unique in the market, we have adopted the integrated braking system. The integrated braking system put together the classic ABS module with a booster in one single package. Why to do that? For two reasons. First of all, like the weighting, reduce complexity, reduce the weight of the car. Second, will give you in any, in any situation, also having a, a fading situation, the best responsiveness from the pedal, for the pedal brake. When you, we will have also the carbon ceramic brakes on the QB that are optional. The braking um, responsiveness of the car would be as a record. Mm -hmm.